Hey there, this is Catherine, and I am sharing a new paper pad from Craftsmith sent me this Recollections Specialty Neutrals paper pad, and I'm just doing a quick flip through so you can see what's included in there. There's um, several sheets of glitter paper, there's solid paper, there's pattern paper, there's foil paper, and there's acetate. Look at this gorgeous acetate. I need a pad of that all by itself. Um, so I'm going to be making a couple of projects today, and I wanted to share that with you. But I wanted to show you the inside first before we get started. And, that, and then there's this cute kind of concrete looking um, paper to me. That's what it looks like when I see it. Um, so that's the Specialty Neutrals pad. You can find that in your local Michael's store. I stopped by mine recently, and I saw it in there. So I wanted to share um, a couple of these projects with you. So let's get started. The first project I'm gonna make is a wreath. And I am using a 12 inch chipboard ring. This is from Paper Accents. I ordered this, I believe from Dick Blick is the company. They sell a lot of the art stuff and I saw these when I was picking up something else. So I ordered a couple of sets of these. Now, you could make your own wreath with a um, cardboard box or with uh, like a cereal box. You just need some circles, but um, just for today, I'm going to use this. But you could absolutely make your own. You could make it smaller. And then I'm, I'm starting, I'm going to stay with the silver and kind of gray tones that are in this paper pad. It's so elegant. And so what I'm going to do on this one is I wanted to cover... I thought about painting my chipboard, but um, I just didn't have a gray kind of paint that I liked. So I decided to use some uh, of this kind of gray silver color ribbon I had in my stash. This is grow grain ribbon. And um, I was gonna also use hot glue to glue it down. You can see I'm using tape because my hot, I discovered my hot glue gun, which my children love to use has been, um, it, it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> Basically, it's been all torn up. So I have to replace that, and I didn't have that today, and I wanted to work on this project. So I just used tape on the back, just regular uh, t clear tape. And so you could hot glue it, or you could use tape as well. So I've gone around. I'm doing this part pretty fast because you get the idea. Um, and it took, se it took several minutes to do this. Uh, but I did about half of the... Um, wreath with it and then I'm gonna fill it up the rest of it with some of these gorgeous flowers I used a lot of the paper from the paper pad to and I had so much fun just spending it took a while I, I will say it took a while to kind of cut and um, pick out the patterns I wanted but it was time well spent um, I think this would make a beautiful wreath for a wedding or a birthday party, a special birthday party or a big celebration. Um, I'm all about making wreaths. I love to do this kind of thing. So uh, this didn't seem to be too much time for me to spend on something that just ends up being so beautiful. So I've got uh, this solid paper and then I'm putting some glitter paper on the larger ones that these flower dies are from Stamps of Life. I don't think they're available anymore. I got them from HSN. Um, they might pop up on the Stamps of Life website. I think they're called the gift card 3D pop-up. There's inside of it, there's this die set that you could put a gift card inside of something. So I'm gonna start, everything is dry, so I'm gonna start laying out my pattern of where I kinda wanna put these flowers. And that, I love the white one that has the kind of a small little cross in the middle of it. Just very, very pretty when the contrast with that kind of darker gray. And I will say, I don't think that this is quite as dark in, in real life as it is on the camera. Um, they're really, really beautiful. To me, it's a little bit lighter, but the shades are just very, very rich and so pretty. So I'm just going to do a single layer to start. I've got these larger flowers and I'm kind of alternating with the light and the dark to get some contrast. And I want that um, glitter paper to show up too. And so I'm going to glue these down and I'm just using adhesive. You could, if you, if you thought, if you're worried about it, you could use hot glue as well. And I've done that before, but I think for this application, the glue would work fine. 
I'm going to come back with these smaller flowers. They have a silver dot on them, and then there's a lighter silver um, outer layer of the flower. I left that part, the outer kind of petals, I guess you would say. I didn't glue those down. It's a little hard to see in the video, but they have some nice dimension. You can kind of pop those up, pull them up, and it, it gives them a kind of layered effect on there. So again, it's a little hard to tell on camera, but I like the way that it added a little bit more dimension to it in person. And I'm using some foam tape um, to little foam dimensionals to um, glue those down. And then I'm going to come back and add another flower on the right hand side. It was a little um, out of whack I thought and and it's you know it's a wreath so it needs to be organic and it can be flowers so it doesn't have to be perfection all the time but I'm just trying to keep it a little bit balanced and I'm going to make one more flower with that white paper with the little crosses in it and I'm adding on that glitter no this one's not glitter this one's just the solid paper the glitter is on the smaller one it's so pretty and so I'm going to come back and layer that in and just adhere that down to where there's a little bit more of the chipboard. And I'm gonna add one more foam dimensional to um, make sure that that flower is secure. So I've got a nice looking wreath going here. I'm gonna come back and add some ribbon to it. I had a little bit left from that roll. I would say I probably used seven and a half to eight yards of ribbon. Um, I don't know the width of this ribbon. It's probably a half inch. And I'm right here I'm figuring out how to get this um, tied where it just kind of blends into the wreath itself and that ribbon. So I'm just kind of pulling it to get, I want that knot to go behind my wreath and without having to actually tie it on there. So I'm gonna straighten up a little bit of this ribbon right here that's moved. Uh, which is no problem. It's very easy to fix. And then I'm going to trim off that extra string on the back for my knot. So you don't see that. And I love the way that that looks. So that's it on that project. I'm going to show you a couple more. I kind of was thinking these are things you could do for a party celebration or some kind of event just with these beautiful rich colors that they had. So I wanted to show you, of course, the acetate, which I absolutely love. And again, I need a whole paper pad of this. I'm using a treat cup die from Stamps of Life, and I'm putting the acetate onto a piece of cardstock. That's going to give me kind of a shim and something for the acetate, for the die to bite into that acetate and cut it. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about. For years, I used to try and get it to cut, and it wouldn't cut, wouldn't cut, and then I think I saw a video that said, hey, put a piece of cardstock underneath and it cut. It cut through, finally. <laughs> it only took many, many years. And you get a, a bonus of having a second box that you can use um, another time. You could decorate that, stamp that, turn that into a treat box. So what I'm going to do here is I'm kind of peeling this acetate away. It is cut, but you just have to give it a little bit of work it doesn't I, this i timed it in this whole um treat cup start to finish took three minutes and that includes you know kind of uh, pulling it out of the acetate where it's trimmed through you just want to gently pull it out because it's plastic it can tear so you just take your time and it doesn't take a second or two to kind of work it out and then you have this cute treat box with some nice um, score lines in there that i'm going to come back and and fold and there's also a notch that allows you just to assemble these boxes so quickly. I've, I've used this before. I know in previous videos, it's, this has become one of my favorite little dies that I have. It has these little tabs and you're just going to run that in. And then it kind of grabs the side when you the little top part of the tab slips in. And then you have a, something to hold it in place. And these hold up beautifully. I personally don't use adhesive with these because my cardstock is usually pretty heavyweight. And I feel like these, as long as you're not putting like a pound of candy in there, they probably will hold together very, very well for someone to take, you know, to pick up at a party and take to their table or something like that. So I have to make a gable box too. This is the handle box from Stamps of Life that I've had forever. 
and just two quick passes through my machine with this beautiful heart paper and I can make my treat box. So I'm gonna glue down that one tab. It, it couldn't be easier, it's all done for you. And let that dry for a second and then I'm going to apply some adhesive to the other tab and then we'll fold that together and assemble the bottom part. And that's it, all you need is a little bit of glue or adhesive. So I'm gonna let this set up for a second. It's taking a little bit longer for some reason um, to close. And then I'm gonna work on my bottom. And I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on one of the tabs that will be inside. I'm not putting it all over because it's just gonna um, go to those, those kind of sides. Then I'm gonna add a little bit more on that outer edge because I'm, I'm gluing more of the box together. And I like to either use my bone folder or a large block is a great way to put a little weight on there and you can kind of press it into place. You can let it sit there for a minute and set up and then you've got a nice secure box. So I enjoyed this one as well. And I, like I say, I thought this would just be a lot of fun for a party and again, the elegance of this paper really lent itself to this kind of um, thing. So that's the gable box and I've got a little tray that I had in my stash and I thought it would be cute to put, I made another one of those boxes, the handle box, I guess I should call it. I think that's what the die is called, but it's like a gable shape. It, um, I did that one in white with the silver dots and I tied some ribbon on that. So it'd be cute to put these out at a party and um, you can just add some little mints or some kind of little chocolates or candies in there and it just makes a really cute and pretty presentation so that was a lot of fun i enjoyed doing that and the paper cut like a dream it's just so beautiful and i love all the different patterns that you get and then here's another look at the wreath the finished product so i think these would absolutely work well together for a party and on that wreath, you could add some numbers or a banner or something to celebrate someone. So be sure to like and share and subscribe. And thanks so much, Craftsmith, for the beautiful paper pad. Have a great day.